All right, so I thought I'd make a quick video about replacing the film on your LCD. Um, a lot of times it'll get faded, it'll get sun damaged, so it won't work right. Um, I'm assuming you're capable of figuring out how to take the, the display itself out of your gauge cluster, whatever it is you're taking it out of. But pretty much, um, what, let's see, there's two screws on the back of this, you're going to take those out of there, and, let's see, oh, it looks like I got one more screw here, a couple of screws on the side, mine's missing one. Just be really careful when you open this up so you don't damage any of the components in here. Uh, there's a couple of little plastic tabs right here that just kind of press in. Just press those in with your thumbnail or a small screwdriver and just kind of work this off of there. Now, you got this your circuit board off. You can see your contacts here for the LCD. So um those are pretty clean i'm going to set this off to the side and what you're left with is this inside of here you take this plastic piece off and if you want to set it on there so that you so that it's kind of lines up like that so you can see these points right here that's how it's going to go back together, so leave yourself kind of a map. There's another piece here. Kind of press that up. And this piece I want to leave here just once again so we remember how to put everything back together the way it goes. Now, what you're left with is this, and this is the part that you're concerned with. This little rubber piece here is your contact point between your LCD screen and these pickups. And this will come off. You can just peel it off like that. So, we can set this back here. just so we don't lose it and when it's all assembled it's going to sit roughly like that but this is what you're concerned with right here is because they get they get faded the sun fades them out and what i did is i i ordered a sheet of this this film from these guys a flash phototonics and it's a polarization film and it has adhesive on one side and then it's got kind of like a, a plastic peel off so um, you want to make sure you get the kind with the adhesive in it and, and if you see here's the lens it'll only go one one direction when you put it on there put it on there the wrong way then you might as well not be doing it at all because you won't be able to see it <laughs> and there's these three dots right here in the center and there you need to replace the plastic with this on the front and the back and if you have a razor blade or a scraper this one's already been been done but you can you can peel this up on the edge see the razor fits under there and this is what you're going to do is peel this off and clean it off. And then once you're done, make sure this is on facing the right direction. And you'll know if it's on the right direction because if it's on the wrong direction, you won't be able to see anything. On this direct, the, if it's the right way, you'll be able to see those three dots in the middle of it. So then you just pretty much cut it to fit. This is a, it peels off on both sides. One side is your adhesive and the other side is just just 
clear it it's just smooth so pretty much that's it I mean you want to scrape off your old cover with a razor clean it up with some glue I used a little bit of alcohol to clean mine off all the way and then cut it to fit and press it down on here and that's really it so anyways I hope that helps you out a little bit um, not very good at making videos so and when you assemble this make sure you get it all back together in the right order and this especially this piece is important because this is this is what makes your contact with your LCD so it can light up so you actually get a display through that so you want to make sure that that lines up when you put it all back together but that's pretty much it you're just peeling the plastic off cleaning off the glass putting the new plastic layer on there and it's good to go and this this photo stuff I've got is um, I think it's 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 somewhat resistant to the sunlight more resistant than what was originally on there and you can do this with almost any LCD display that's faded it's a car motorcycle whatever so anyway hope that helps you out